Speaking of team making some noise, the Sounders continue the beginning of their 2023 regular season. Uh, they dismantled Real Salt Lake two to nothing. Our player of the match, right wing back Alex Roldan, the younger Roldan brother, a 9.0 match rating, two assists, one shot on goal, an 86% passing percentage with two chances created. Uh, if you weren't able to, well, before I get to that, we'll go to our photo of the match here by Brian Saldana. Brian, with this night shot, you got the the fire going there in the background after Jordan had scored on that header. Jordan obviously excited about that in the celebration. And then Real Salt Lake goalkeeper Zach McMath, not very happy uh, as he watches on. Uh, some some nice celebrations going on in the back there as well. Nice photo, by Brian, there uh, in his second game. Uh, for this uh, doing photography for us uh, at the Sounder, Sounders matches. So uh, with rolled on, I mean, if you weren't able to watch those matches um, because of the Apple uh, MLS season pass crap, whatever. Um, first of all, I would say to keep up with the coverage of the Sounders, uh, you should go and follow us on our socials, which I'll put below now uh, as I talk about Alex rolled on. Uh, the first assist that he had rolled on was going to cross it into the box and got blocked. And he kind of he, he fell right back into his lap. So he took a second to kind of recover, take a step back. And he had another ball in perfect spinning ball right into Jordan Morris between two Real Salt Lake defenders um, just out of the reach of McMath. Uh, he just dropped it, just like dropped it in like a claw machine, dropped the ball right in there uh, to Morris. And Morris, you know, obviously now three headers, uh, which is tied for the most that he's ever had in a season. And he's only two matches in. Uh, and he had those three headers the last time in the 2016 season. Uh, and he did so in 34 matches. So he's probably going to beat that. Who knows? Um, but it was a great start. I mean, it was a great start. After the first 10 minutes, you know, the Sounders and Real Salt Lake had a really sort of a feeling out period. Um, and then everything from there was all sounders, you know, whether it was passing, whether it was just completely, I mean, outside of a few shots here and there that Real Salt Lake got, it's like, like I said, very few, like less than a handful. Um, Seattle, Seattle continues to look like what the MLS has gotten used to and where the words insufferable come from when describing the sounders because of how good they've played. Again, like I did in my articles and my write-ups, you want to hold your excitement to an extent, right? You don't want to just go full blown um, yet, obviously, you know, with it being a long season, you know, you're trying to figure out who, which teams are, which, but the next few opponents that Seattle has in Cincinnati and LAFC, especially are going to be big tests to see. All right. We've seen this prowess displayed. What does it really mean? You know, put that metal, touch that metal, um, so I had to keep my phone near me because we keep getting reports on things. Yep. That's the, yeah. Okay. The three-year deal, 105 million kids confirmed. All right. Um, <laughs> so no, it's, uh, it's exciting to see, you know, see involvement all over, see Jordan Morris, uh, with three goals, Heber, um, with two now, um, so it and and Red Bull Rui Diaz has only played two minutes over the course of the 180 that the Sounders have played in a regular season play so far, and Obed Vargas still has to be added to this roster at some point. You know, so uh, that's a perfect segue to talking about our sort of injury related news on the 10th. I'm part of the 10th. We're going forward in time here on the fourth. Um, Raul Roy Diaz played the final 10 minutes in that match. Smetcher said that he could play the full 90 next week, but he doesn't know if he will probably a cautionary thing there. And Obed Vargas was not available for selection against Real Salt Lake, but he wasn't listed as injured either. So it might be they're waning him back here. Um, with a, I, I believe the official injury designation for Vargas uh, was a quad injury. So we look over to team related notes here on the 28th. It was a, there's a rumor that the club is actively shopping center back Javier Ariaga around uh, there's been a robust market for his services, but Seattle is not in any imminent. Uh, they don't feel pressured to make that move happen sooner rather than later. Uh, and with the way that Jackson Reagan has been playing, it, it's just, uh, <clears throat> that move just continues to make sense if you're able to get something out of Ariaga there. Um, he hasn't. Uh, 
I don't believe he played. He didn't play in the Real Salt Lake match, and I don't believe he played in the Colorado match. I could be wrong. I believe he might have been there. Um, but he hasn't started in either of those first two matches is also a point. So uh, something to note there with Ariaga, and that's a rumor, so I can't confirm anything. But um, also on the 28th, uh, for his week one performance, Jordan Morris was named to the MLS team of the match day, which is just team of the week. I don't know why MLS renamed it uh, for his performance against Colorado. While teammates Christian rolled on and knew who earned spots on the bench. Morris had a 9.2 match rating, two goals, three total shots, two chances created in 85 minutes played. Rolled on an 8.4 match rating, one goal scored, four shots, 81% passing, one chance created in 71 minutes played. New who an 8.4 match rating as well. 76% passing four on five tackles, four out of five tackles, one, two clearances, two interceptions and 10 recoveries in 90 minutes played uh, on today. The sixth uh, Alex rolled on was named to the MLS team of the match day for week two. Um, we went over his stats when we talked about the Dallas Salt Lake win while teammate Jordan Morris earned a spot on the bench. So we talked about that. Um, also today, uh, there's a report that the club has signed defender Nuhu to an extension. The outside back uh, reportedly now has a deal that runs through at least 2026. Nuhu was in the final year of the guaranteed portion of his contract, but had an option for the year of 2024. Uh, there will probably be a decent raise for the outside wing back uh, from Cameroon considering that he was uh, scheduled to make $300,000 this year uh, from the Sounders. So that is something to note there. Again, that hasn't been reported by the club yet, but that's what we've been heard. We've been heard. We've been told. So that is that for our Sounders. They are 2-0-0, two wins, no losses, no draws on the season. They are first atop the league and atop the Supporter Shield standing because of their goal differential uh and they're atop the western conference their next matchup against a team an fc cincinnati team that is one win and one draw on the season uh that is at fc cincinnati with a start time of 4 30 p.m pacific on march 11th which is a busy day for seattle sports i digress uh but that'll be a good matchup uh seattle has never played uh at fc cincinnati's home field so that'll be uh first time they've met twice and in those two matches that Seattle's played, the 2016 team, uh, I say that they joined the league in 2016, um, Seattle has one win over FC Cincinnati and one draw. Uh, 